that you know we need a strong uh, quarterback that can get out that pocket. You know what I'm saying? And uh, exactly. that's what's gonna start happening, man. But you know what, fam? Hey, man, I'm glad you come on, man. I'm gonna be coming on every Monday from now on, man. You know, cause uh, Doug Stewart from the Two Live Stew, uh, he's only doing a show once a week. So it's, you know the network's gonna be wide open. So I'm gonna keep my Monday spot, man. And then maybe I'll try to do another day once in a while too, man. But uh, uh, keep up the network, man. And whenever you're ready to do your thing, let me know, man, because the Chiefs want to be part of it and help you get, get that thing going, all right? I appreciate it, brother. Definitely. Most definitely. Take it easy. All right, man. You be cool too, bro. All right, now. That was fame out of Prospect. Prospect, New York, Cincinnati. <laughs> yeah, out of Natty. Uh, since I got it. But anyway, man, I see B Hill came back up in here. Uh, B Duval, Viking fan. Duval, Viking fan, Hill. So, in other words, he said Duval, that's Jacksonville. So, that means Jacksonville, Minnesota was your team you looking to cheer for and whatnot. But yeah, man, this is number one Chief Rocket Jersey Vern. I ain't got that long to go before I move over for uh, Patty Cake, Patty Cake, Michael Way come up in the house. Oh uh, man, that's gonna be some gun blasting, uh, Sister Nancy singing, and all that stuff going on. But uh, I just want to say, tell you my sponsors today is um, Pepsi Cola. Don't drink Coke, drink Pepsi. You got the right one, baby. And Nestle Pure Spring Natural Water. And also, you got them pure grapes out of the French vineyard, the Hennessy fine wine of cognac. And also got some Hennessy White. I don't know where that's from. But I know it's on my counter. And I'm saving that for the Super Bowl. You know? So anyway, man. Hey, listen. Um, the Saints lost yesterday to Minnesota. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they played a good game and whatnot. It was, um, hey, man, they played down to the wire. But I got a knock-knock joke. Knock, knock. Who's there, Chief Rocket? Who that? Nobody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had to get that one out there, man. Hey, Thorny, I know you're listening, Mommy. Uh, you know, it's all part of the broadcasting game. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Angry Black Man? Angry Black Man said, Big L, you know the Knicks ain't making the playoff. Don't worry about the Knicks, Black Man. Who your team? I'll wait. Let me see. Who black man? Who, who angry? Is it Orlando? Is Orlando Magic? Since you're down in the Florida area, you, you, or either the Miami Heat, which one you go with? You know, watch you going to say some team like Gregor and all the rest of them, the, uh, the Golden State Warriors, you know, San Antonio. Y'all going to go there on me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Mo Cheeks and Cool Cells is MIA from showing their ass. You know, that's all right. We'll get them some type of way, Michael Wayne. If they don't want to show up now, they're going to have to show up sooner or later. And whatnot. But, you know, uh, <laughs> I thank everybody, you know, definitely for uh, stepping in here. Uh, I got I got enough time for one more call. If somebody wants to call in, 404-618-2119. 404-618-2119. Call up. You know, Chief got about another 10, 12 minutes for you to call in. And, and, and let off some st heat and all that, some whatever you got going on. But um, it's some um, entertainment news, right? The world, the world, the world, the world of entertainment. Uh oh, damn. Somebody gonna call up. I can't even get the entertainment in. Call, what's your name? What you calling for? What you wanna talk about? It's your boy Peter Quill, calling from the Ville. What's up, Peter oh, Quill? Oh, man, God damn. It's going to rain, 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 rain. God damn, I got Peter who on the phone. Oh, yeah, what's I up, bro? Man, I, I tried to call one time last <laughs> time, dog. He kept going to voicemail. Oh, you know why? Because I only can have one at a time and somebody was on the line, you know. But uh, oh. it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what they say? <laughs> Just try, try, try. You will get in. <laughs> Right, 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 right. Oh, What's going man. on, uh, Firm, man? Hey, man, I just want to know what happened to your Falcons, man. That's all I want to know. You know, I don't want to know nothing uh, else. I just want to know what happened to your Falcons. Could you sit there and actually tell me? 
I, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. All right. Falcon season, man, it was, I don't know, man. It, it was reminiscent of the season two years ago, man. Only only difference was, hell, you didn't have a 6-0 and start. You know what I'm saying? Because we started with a new uh, OC. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to get used to his play call, but all he had to really do was come in and just mimic what Shanahan was doing. But, you know, it was a long season. Defense played well throughout the season, had some mishaps here and there, but the offense, the offense just couldn't get going this year, man. And hopefully things change around like it did, you know, in the second year with the OC like it did uh, back with Shanahan. So hopefully that's that that's a – that's a glass half full kind of way of looking at it. Maybe we'll be on track next year. But it was just a long season, man, for a, a lackluster offense. But tell me something. Tell me something, right? Um, okay, you said the first year Shanahan came, right? Uh, it took right. Matt Ryan some adjusting to it. And then yesterday, I mean last year, he flourished. And, and right. he brought you out to the Super Bowl, right? Right. So why let a man like that get away? I don't know, man. To tell you the truth, man, I mean, it's so much speculation you can do with that because at this point, I mean, it's, I mean, really, I mean, I mean, a lot of a lot of fans who ain't into conspiracy theory, dog, or even right. looking at Shannon and funny now, like, dude, did you sell us out? Because, I mean, his situation's starting to look gravy out there in, in Fort yeah, Carolina land. Yeah, I, I think. I can't tell you, you know what I'm saying? It, yeah, it, I, look, it's just funny, man. He's just ready to go. I, you know what? I think I think he got kind of pissed off with something going on. But we never know what went on behind the scenes. And when that San Francisco job took place, you know, he was like, shit, fuck it. Um, he told his, his agent and them to go out there and see, is he a good candidate for that? And, you know, he's like, fuck it, man. And Super Bowl was just like a nice a lot for him because that end of that Super Bowl, man, he really didn't. Unless he was thinking different than the obvious, he really didn't call that last drive or series I had in the right. He series. really did, man. He really you did. Know? And um, I think the coach now, he called good plays all the way up until y'all got close to the end zone. When y'all got close to the end zone. Uh, I think I think y'all should have grinded out, man. You know, because uh, y'all had to have some type of play that y'all can run that ball in the end zone because y'all was getting some good runs here and there. I think off tackle and between the center and guard, y'all was doing better runs. But then y'all was trying to go to the outside and it wasn't working that good. But they got quick ass linebackers, you know. But I don't know, man. I think <clears throat> it seemed like for a good bit of the game, man, the edge stuff was there a lot, especially like with Coleman. It seemed like he could hit that edge pretty good, man, for at least a good five, about a, about a good four or five yards every tote, man. But I don't know, man. I mean, but you're right, though. Um, them calls in the red zone? Right. Bro, I don't – jet sweeps on – man, come on, man. I know I don't know, you, I know, I don't I know, know what Sarkeesian up there thinking. Maybe he need a drink. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? They might want to go get yeah. him something to drink for next year. Yeah, no doubt. That was dumb. I think I would. I think I would allow him to drink throughout the game. Like he may call a better game, but uh, this is this is something that I looked at, and you know that ninja. Other people would say, "No, you're wrong, chief," and whatnot. But you know, chief hold to his gun. Being that Julio, who he is, and being that he knew Matt Ryan was on the run and he had to throw that ball, don't you think he should have got that ball after he got off of that ground? That ball went between. Like it, it went right between his hands, man. He should have. He, he ain't slapped him good enough. And you seen that, BL? Because you not BL. Goddamn, I'm looking at BL in the chat. But you seen that, Peter Quill? You seen that? Hey, hey, hey! I'm gonna keep it real with you. I'm gonna keep it real with you. This uh-huh. happened with me. Yeah. I was watching the game. Uh-huh. Uh, I think that last touchdown or the last field goal, uh, the Eagles made. I had stopped watching because they had to leave the house. That, uh-huh. and, and when I stopped watching and left the house, I didn't even want to see nothing. I didn't want to hear nothing, nothing. So I didn't find wow. out we really lost probably about like 30 or 40 minutes later. But uh-huh. when I went back and saw that play, I was sitting there, you know what I'm saying, because I saw people come in like, oh, man, Julio dropped the ball or he didn't catch it. No, he ain't drop it. He just didn't catch it. Out. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the play. I was like, how he, the hell? He's supposed to have got that. He, he should have yeah, got that. I, I mean, <laughs> but you know, because I mean, even because in, in some cases you can say you could, you you missed time to jump, 
But right. it seemed like he even missed time to jump, but still he still was there. All he had to do was close it. The catch it. I believe he would have closed it and it bounced up off his hand. He's such a good athlete, he probably would have got the rebound. Because he was just held back there by himself. Because the defender was in front of him. He was by himself. Like you said. You know what I'm saying? It's it's crazy, man. Like He really just didn't attempt to close his hands right there. Or he probably felt like he was closing his hands a little too late then. I guess from when he initially wanted to catch it or something, but I don't know. Right. I mean, it's, it's a weird play, man. It's a real weird play. But you know what I want to get at you and get on you about, right? Okay. Because all y'all Atlanta Falcon fans, not all. I don't know if Slug will do it. And, um, I can't say that Rail will do it. You know what? But I've been down a lot of tailgates, man. I've been down here 20 years now, Pete. And um, <laughs> I, I was at all these tailgates. And I see him coming out the game at time, coming out the game before the game over. And you said you left before the game was over. Why y'all do that, man? This is your team. I understand. No, 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 no. no. I had, well, I, I'll say this. I'll say this with me. I'll say this uh, with me. I don't know about leaving the games early. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I'm there. I'm there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, actually. Um, I think I've only been to probably about two or three football games. You know what I'm saying? Actually been in the building. And the first one I went to was Saints and Falcons about about two. Actually, now probably about three or four years ago. But I stayed to the end. I uh-huh. watched these suckers sitting up in there chanting, who that, who that, who that, who that, who that. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? I'm walking through the, through, the, through the corridors hearing all these Saints fans talk noise. So I, right. I've sat that. But and I and I've watched total games and you know when, when they were bad or whatever. But I just get so revved up about these Falcon man. Like they work my nerves so bad, bro. I just like to turn it off and make, and, and, and sometimes I be in the superstition like maybe if I stop watching, that you know it'll be a miraculous win or something. You know what I'm saying? I, right. That's just me. And plus, right. I had to leave the house anyway, so I couldn't okay. watch it anyway. Okay, I understand. You know what I'm saying? I just, you had, I just didn't you... turn the radio off. Right, I didn't turn the radio on. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But but as far as leaving the games early, I yeah. don't know, man. I don't know, bro. But I mean, I mean, I don't know, dog. I you know, but but uh-huh. you know, but it but it's kind of like that. A lot of stages, man. A couple games, you know what I'm saying? Hey, the other the other teams be losing. I just seen the other uh, fans leave the stadium stuff too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We ain't the only ones. Well, you know, I'm, I'm gonna put it to you like this. It ain't it ain't that y'all be losing by a lot. Y'all still got a chance in the game. I seen people leaving, and and not in that matter where the game was still close, but they lost faith. But it's all good, man. I'm glad you came on. You represent your team. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna call out. I'm gonna call out the ones that didn't represent their team today. One just came in the chat room, Mo Cheese, and he ain't even got his Philly Ave on and whatnot. Come on, Mo Cheese. But anyway, man, <laughs> hey, Pete Quill, listen, bro, I'm glad you came on the show. But listen, when I do other shows, man, come in there and call up and give your intake on things. I may be fucking up on something you disagree with. Call up. That's what it's all about. It's about getting with oh, yeah. the whole. You already know. You already yeah. know, dog. D- definitely that, man. So you broke the ice. We we cool. And, uh, hey, I'll be hollering <laughs> at you the rest of 2018. All right, my brother? All day, man. All right, later. And yeah, that was PQ in the house. What up, PQ? But anyway, man, it's getting down to that time, man. Uh, my main man, the microwave, will be coming on, man. And I just want to say uh, big up to Kesey for not coming on. I can't tell you nothing about Sluggle because Sluggle don't do on the radio talking on the phone. He told us that three years, four, three years ago. You know, so I, I can't blame him for not coming on. But 334 Bama Boy, thanks for being in the chat. But you could have called up, man. Call up and let me know how you feel, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Nano the Wano, I guess I'm going to have to uh, call down there to the, to, you know, the little shelter, man, and see did he check in or what happened, you know? Because uh, I haven't heard from him since last week I seen him, you know? But anyway, man, I thank everybody for coming out, man. I enjoyed y'all. Thank for the support. You know what I'm saying? Number one, Chief Rocket Jersey Firm. Got to leave this scene, you know? Because, uh, hey, man, it's time for the next man to step up. I didn't go too hard because I know he going to blow him out the scene, you know. So, anyway, man, I'm about to drop that mic, man. 
and uh, I'm gonna leave y'all.